All right, well, let's get right into these minor chord progressions. Uh, to get the most out of this, you're definitely, if you haven't read the uh, Creating Minor Key Chord Progressions tutorial at guitarlessons365.com, just go over there and do a search on the lesson and, and download the PDF. Um, and if you can follow along on page three of it, um, I'm basically, um, on this page three, we've broken down all the minor scales, scale types, along with their chord types. So we know that E natural minor is always a minor followed by a diminished major, minor, minor, major, major. Harmonic minor is always minor, diminished, augmented, minor, major, major, diminished. And then melodic minor is always minor, minor, augmented, major, major, diminished, diminished. And you would just take each one of those respective scales and string them along those chord types and you'll have all the chord options that we can use in this minor key, staying within the key, that is. So I'm just going to run through a couple of things real quick. Um, so usually the first chord in the progression is going to establish the tonality, so it'll be a, a, the one chord, the E minor. So we would stick with that as being our first chord. And then we'll just we'll start talking, we start experimenting with the options that we do. I'll do a couple of progressions here. One, you'll see here that uh, the five chord in natural minor is B minor, but the five chord in the two other types of scales is B major. So you can literally have a chord progression that uses both a B minor and a B major in it. And that will give you um, a lot of variety and be a lot more unpredictable in the, the sound that you um, that you're going for. So um, a lot of times we, we can do it like this. Um, if it's going to be the minor chord, it's usually in the middle of the progression. If you, at the end of the progression, it's going from the five chord back to the one kind of helps establish the tonality even more. So that is, it's more commonly to use the five chord to go back to the one. Um, that's just a kind of a general thing. It doesn't happen all the time but it is something that helps establish a key. So we have a minor triad, and say we, the next chord we want to go, we want to do that B minor. So we go to the five minor. The five chord, the minor version of the five chord. And from there we want to go to, say, uh, the four chord. Now we can just do the four chord as a major or a minor. We'll do it as a minor. And then we have, let's go up to the C. Now we can either use a C sharp diminished or a C major chord. I'm going to stick with a C major chord because that's more uh, usable there. And then we'll end it with the five chord in major now. And you'll see how when we play this chord, it kind of wants us to pull back to the one. So all those chords is the one minor, five minor, four minor. 7 major, I'm uh, no, sorry, 6 major, 5 major. See how, when we played that chord, because the first time they heard that B, it was a minor, so it sounds, it's a less predictable uh, progression. You just have more choices here. Uh, the second progression that I wanted to talk about, really, if you, if you look at the, the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth chords of all of the scales, they all use the exact same root notes. So it's just E, F sharp, G, A, and B. But when you get to the sixth tone, that is when the alterations start coming into play uh, for the melodic minor and the harmonic minor. So basically, after we get to the sixth tone in the scale, so which is a, a C, we literally have, we can build a chord off of every chromatic note we want. We have a C major, C sharp diminished, D major, D diminished, back to the one. So you can have a chord, you, you'll probably recognize some of this that, that a lot of uh, um, music does this. So we start with a one, and let's just go down chromatically and then we'll, we'll continue a, a whole progression. So we got minor, then we're going to go to the D sharp diminished. And then resolve that down to the, just the regular D major. And then 
the C sharp diminished. And resolve that down to the C major. So both of these are considered the sixth chord. This is considered the sixth uh, diminished, and this is the flat sixth major. All right, and then we have, we go to G major there. We, um, now we could do augmented there. Augmented is used very little on these, so uh, in any really style of music. So, but so we'll just do the G major there after it. Now we could just kind of keep moving around, go up to A minor, and end it with that five major again. That'll take us back to the one. You can see how versatile you are. You just have an you have an entire chromatic bass line that you can use for half of the half of the key. So um, I just want you to take this stuff and take those chords and start mixing around. Maybe mess in E minor for a little while. Just really get a handle on. It doesn't matter where you play the chords. I just play them here. But it's any E minor, any D sharp diminish, anything you want to do. Um, we have all those chord voicings are, are available on the website. You can you can download them for free and just check them out and and start using them across the neck in really uh, interesting ways. All right, so I hope you guys had fun with this. Please go to guitarlessons365.com um, and support the site and, and let me know what you think of the, the, these theory lessons, if you want more theory lessons. And uh, I will uh, talk to you guys soon. All right, bye-bye.